most important thing about Freedom House is that it is Christ-centered. Um, addiction causes spiritual poverty, extreme spiritual poverty. That's basically what the problem is, is that people are worshiping drugs, worshiping other things that are death-producing, not life-producing. And so at Freedom House, we talk about faith, and they know coming in that they will learn about faith, although they're not walking, obviously, in faith. And everyone that comes there begins a relationship with Christ or works on a relationship with Christ. And that is the most, the most important thing that we do. Because without that, everything else is temporal. Everything else is just a band-aid on this problem of addiction. During addiction, women do not bond well with their children. And so it increases that lack of bond with that child and the problems that that child will face. And at Freedom House, they get to learn how to develop that bond if they never have had it, or to get it back, or how to parent and the children are in a safe environment for a long term. So it makes it very different. And it's, to me, one of the most important things that we do is the parenting and the education and the treatment of the children as well as the mom and putting that back together. There are long-term programs, our programs for women. There are even some programs for women and children, but there are almost none in our country or in the world that are for women and children in the Christian setting. I think the biggest gift that God gave me while being at Freedom House is that I finally felt like I had traded ashes for beauty. I finally felt like for the first time in my life I could view myself in God's eyes the way that He saw me instead of the way I had always seen myself in the past. There is no woman that is at Freedom House that does not experience that change. God meets them where they are and they, we have hundreds of prayers that are um, answered on our prayer board because he is gracious and he is a gentleman and he heals them as they surrender their hearts to him and he answers their prayers and Isaiah 61 is the scripture that Freedom House is based on and it talks about them becoming a display of his splendor and there is no doubt in anyone's mind that close to these women that once they surrender their hearts and they begin to put God into their lives that they and their children's lives are a display of His splendor. With Christ, everything can change and the lives are transformed in a way that's not just a, a very temporary, short-term fix, it's a lifelong fix, a transforming fix, a fix that will take them into eternity and that's very important to us.